we are going to start L7 NH training uh, today is the first session and uh, this is about power wiring let's look at L7 NH drive first there is the EtherCAD connector and you can see also STO and beside of it uh, there is the IO connector and for motor there is power connector and the encoder connector but today we are going to check this connector there are four functions first one is the main power connector and the second one is about DC reactor third one is regenerative register and the last one is for control power they are related to power wire and if they are not connected in correct way some of alarms may occur so we will check this today this is a whole block diagram for L7NH drive and the parts we will check are in the red boxes C1, C2, and L1, L2, L3, PO, PI, and B, B plus, BI uh, First of all, main power connector the terminals for main power connector are L1, L2, L3. They are connected to main power input. Uh, basically, LS Macapians all drives are based on three phase power input. However, single phase is also available. If you need to use single phase, you need to check the exact model name. Uh, because sometimes you need to choose higher capacity of drive than three phase case. So, regarding choose drive for single phase application, you can ask your sales manager. One thing you have to avoid is connecting M terminal to the ground of power. So, please do not connect N terminal to the ground cable. And the related alarm is like this Alarm 40, under voltage, alarm 41, over voltage, and alarm 42. This is about main power fail. And you see this signal, this sign, they, they mean warning. So, warning 1, which means power fail and warning 40 that means on the voltage the specification of these alarms or warnings is in the manual so you can check the detailed information of them in the manual the terminal PO and the PI they are for DC reactor this terminal should be short circuit when you use the drive without DC reactor. As you can see, the blue box, this part is included our product. However, if you need to use DC reactor, these terminals are required to be connected with DC reactor. And uh, B plus, B, BI, they are for regenerative register. Uh, basically, uh, below 15 kilowatts of L7 series includes built-in regenerative register. So, if the external register is not required to use the drive, 
and the PI terminal should be short circuit. However, in case the higher regenerative power returns from load to drive, the external regenerative register is required. To use the, this external regenerative register, B plus and B, this terminal needs to be connected to external register. If there is no enough regenerative register for the operation, the alarm 41, that means over voltage, may occur. So the setting enough regenerative register is required for normal operation. Another alarm related to regenerative register is 23. The cause of this alarm is regeneration of a rod. To prevent this alarm, the appropriate register is required. More detailed information will be included in regenerative register session. So please check the video session 1.4 regenerative register session. The last step for power wiring is about control power connector C1 and C2. These terminals are for control PCB in the drive. The related alarm is 43. That means control power fail. So we have checked the main power connector that includes L1, L2, L3 and if you need to use DC reactor please use the terminal PO and PI and regarding external regenerative register B plus, B and PI should be checked to input control power you can use C1 and C2 Before we finish this session, uh, let's check some parameters to set main power input. As we have noticed, you can use this drive for three phase and single phase also. However, to use various power input, we need to set correct parameters. By setting 2006, 2006 we can set the main power such as single phase, three phase, and this power. Single phase, three phase, and this power. And another thing you can set is a processing method of missing phase of a main power. You see this function. And when the main power phase is missed, the system operation be based on this setting value. So alarm 24 is possible and the warning 1 is also possible. So if you need to check the frequency of a missing phase of a main power, you need to set parameter 2007. This one is about main power fail check time. Depending on the circumstance of system, the setting value will be variable. So by se setting this value, uh, short time voltage drop or short time voltage sag will not be detected as a serious phenomenon for the system. 